You know when a contact form or a sign-up form has the label like name or email above the box that your visitor is supposed to type in, but you want it inside the box instead of outside of it? I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to do that with most programs. So first, it's important to understand that when a label like that is outside of the box you're supposed to type in, it's actually called a label. When that label moves inside the box, it's actually called a placeholder. And that is the difference that makes it super easy for us to change the position of it. So I'm going to show you how using a Jetpack sign-up form in WordPress, but it's the same procedure using MailChimp and most other uh, contact forms or sign up contact form or sign up forms. So I'll get started here in WordPress. I have a post started telling you how to do this, and I'm going to go ahead and add a contact form. So if you're using Jetpack in WordPress, just click the button, of course, add contact form. Okay, now we're going to click on that contact form, it adds automatically. Click the edit button. Okay, and under contact form fields, you will see the labels here, and you can change them to whatever you want. It says field label, name. This is the field type, it is their name, and email, and then website, and you can change your message. I always like to say, how can I help you? I'm going to click update form. We're going to leave them all as labels, even though we want them to be placeholders. Okay, scroll back to the top, and then at the top of your WordPress post, click over from visual to text, and you're going to see the short code for your Jetpack contact form. And it will look pretty similar if it's a, a MailChimp form. Um, that won't be a short code, but it'll be an HTML, and you will see the same types of things. You'll see label and then equal sign in quotation marks. You'll see email. Um, things like that. So what you're going to look for is, like I said before, we want to take the labels and turn them into placeholders. So literally all you have to do is highlight label and then type placeholder. If you spell it right, that helps. I'll do that with all of these quickly. And now let's click back to visual, and you can see even in the preview, they move to inside. Okay, so I will show you, let me move myself, and I will show you a preview. So you can see now that name, email, and website, and how can I help you are inside the boxes. They're now placeholders. That's how simple it is. I forgot to show you the before, but um, I'm sure you know what it looks like because that's what you want to change and that's why you're here. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or hop over to the blog and ask there.